Another response to one of Rav Eli's uh, posts. I thought it was in jest, the title, but um, and, and the content, but he seems to be making a, a serious point that some people are, and I've heard this before, it, the, the, the title is Does Chana Permit Gambling? And what he's referring to is we, we play dreidel. So with dreidel, sometimes we play with peanuts. You know, you put what, you put three peanuts in the beginning, or one. every player puts one, and then if you get a gimel, you take it all. If you get a hay, nothing happens. If you take a shin, you add one. If you take a, um, an, uh, I forget, I, who cares? It's a, it's a kid's game. And so he makes a joke. He, he doesn't make a joke, but he brings up the concept of gambling in Judaism. And he says what an isert is, how, how forbidden it is. And he mentions that a Jewish person who is uh, known to be a, a chronic gambler is, is not counted as witness in a court of Jewish law. He says, based on Mishnah Sanhedrin 3.3, excellent sources. Uh, and Rambam maintains that gambling contributes nothing to society and only fosters negative character traits by rewarding deceit and sanctioning low-level theft. Hilchos Gezela Veveda 6.10, uh, chapter 6, uh, Halacha 11, 10 and 11. Um, yeah, this is something that I'm surprised happens, but I hear stories that I saw a guy with a in a casino. How? How does this make sense to anyone? And the Torah clearly prohibits this, and he says in his post that it leads to, it can destroy relationships, it can ruin your future. Even as a, it's one of these things, be like, it's just a cute thing I do. No, God goes through a lot of trouble as we're to make sure every single cent that you earn ends up in your wallet, and you are not free to go and spend that money haphazardly, and definitely not free to go and gamble it. Even spending money on frivolous things, the Torah does not permit. How much more so, gambling. And, and, and the whole concept of gambling is so antithetical to, to Judaism. Judaism is a, a, a religion based on reward and punishment. You work, you get. You don't work, you don't get. Gambling is this fanatical, is this, this practice where I'm going to put in a dollar and please give me back 250 million. It's like absurd and it's... It's not healthy, and, and, and even it, what all, you know, it's based on a desire for money, which is something that the Torah didn't even consider. Uh, I mean, you know, money wasn't around, the currency wasn't around, really. And they had gold and silver, but uh, generally speaking, maybe currency was around, I don't know the history so well, to be honest with you. But the point is, it only it exists because of our um, propensity towards greed and envy. And the Torah strictly prohibits envy. It's one of the Ten Commandments. Don't envy your neighbor's ass, his, his donkey, don't, don't not his wife, not any possession of your neighbor. What you have, God wants you to have. More than that, God doesn't want you to have. When he wants you to have more, you'll get more. And don't, don't think that you're going to put in a dollar and get more. Or you're going to go bet on black and you're going to have double what you have. It's, it's, it's against the Torah. It's not what God wants. People, and people go in, well, you know what? I saw this guy and he lost in gambling. Obviously, God didn't love the Jews. God didn't pick this guy. You know, why would he lose if, if, if you're the chosen people? This is the same guy that tells him not to gamble. So when he doesn't get a blessing to win this gamble, don't be surprised. And same thing with people who lost a lot of money in the stock market, and they're Jewish, and they're so surprised. What happened with, unfortunately, this wasn't the way the stock market was designed. It actually was designed this way, but they were weeding out speculators. But in, in the year 2000, you know, with NASDAQ approaching 5,000 rapidly, people thought they were going to make a quick buck. And a lot of people lost their shirts and their necks and their neckties. And they, uh, and even it continues today. I mean, you know, stock market to have an important place in the economy. Stock market is not supposed to be to make a quick buck. It's just supposed to help bolster the economy. If you're in to go in and out of company, short-term games, and you don't mind paying the, the taxes, the whole thing is, is anyway. These types of things are clearly prohibited in Judaism. It's nothing take, to be taken lightly, not even as a joke. The only thing, my only note to Ellie is. I hope you're not really coming down hard on the kids who, who sit with dreidel and play with peanuts or Hanukkah gelt coins, the chocolate coins. This is a game. And to me, this, there's nothing harmful. I, the, the Rebbe says, actually, uh, you, you are siding with the Rebbe, and one thing is, by the Bible, we don't steal the afikomen, which is one of the favorite things that other Jews like to do, because they don't want to teach the meat of stealing. So yes, I have to be clear. If my kids want to play dreidel, I have to tell them, that we don't gamble. We're only playing a game now, and this never happens with money. But to take away this dreidel from the kids... I'm not ready to do it. But once you have kids, you'll make your own decisions about what it's like to have kids. Maybe uh, take a mad mamish and maybe uh, many, many. Okay, all the best and uh, take a